that sure is a a good set of choppers you got on you there. Told me, <laughs> told me to smile. I was sitting here, I wasn't smiling enough. They said so. <laughs> oh me, I'm Laban Johnson. And I'm Larry Bly. And this is cooking cheap, and we really are. It really is, and we really are. <laughs> this is very pretty. I like this. I don't know what that is. It's but a piece it's of wallpaper, pretty. I believe. Is it a piece of wallpaper? Mm -hmm. I believe I had some. Yeah, I believe it is. So just wanted to thank you for the great laughs you have given me and my mother, and we want them back. <laughs> <laughs> we watch your show every Sunday. Keep up the great work. Stephanie Giannini. Well, how nice. I guess that's how you say that. Giannini. Well, Kathy J. writes in and says, Ran across your show by accident. Channel flipping. I loved it. Now, I wouldn't miss it. Thanks for making cooking a more enjoyable... And it just hangs off there. <laughs> I like the fact she was channel flipping. You know I love to do that. You know how much you sit I sit there with your little oh, zapping and machine. Go through all that. Yeah. I ran across Ernest Angley the other morning. <laughs> called it a prayer line call for you so that you'd be healed. Oh. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Good heavens. Dear Larry and Laven, I just wanted to drop a line to both of you and say that my family and I really enjoy watching your show. It always makes the day to see you guys because you have such a great time. Hope Cooking Cheap stays on the air for a long time to come. So do we. So do we. So Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for having such a great show. We always get a kick out of seeing you two in action. Thank you very much. Regards, Craig Blankenbeckler, I think it is, from Kingsport, Tennessee. Thank you very much. I don't know where Stephanie was from. And Mr. and Ms. Uh, e. Hazelton from Seymour, Missouri, right? We just love your show. Our 13-year-old grandson, who is a pretty good cook himself, started making omelets when he was only five years old. Watched your show for the first time today and thinks it's a hilarious show. Well, thank you so much in that suite. <laughs> I really enjoy your show. You do recipes that fit in with a family's budget, not like some of those shows that even if you could afford the recipes, you can't find everything that you need for it. <gasps> thank you and keep up the good work. Cynthia Kirkbride. And again, this yeah. has been separated from the envelope, so I don't know where she's from. You know, it's an evil bird that befouls its own nest. But I saw <laughs> another one of those TV cook shows mm -hmm. this weekend, and the guy was making a dish with vegetables that you can't even get in this hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does happen. Well, anyway, now I've been saving this one. Uh -oh. Dear guys, I, I watched the show on Saturday and wanted to comment on the mush and dumplings. My grandma used to make lots of dumplings and fried mush. The reason your dumplings broke apart like they did is because once the dumplings rise and are established, you then need to take the lid off. Oh. Any further steaming would saturate them too much and break them apart. That's what happened. The mush tastes so good with butter and maple syrup on top, you'll love it. And that's from Linda McLean. That so, was the famous exploding, uh, uh -huh. what were those things called? Dumplings. Dumplings show. And yeah. they did. They just went all to pieces. Well, Linda, actually, what was wrong was he used self-rising flour, and that just turned them into nuclear dumplings. We certainly have big on, been big on the chickens this year on this show. Uh -huh. We're sort of wearing yeah. ourselves out with the chickens, don't oh, you think? Oh, no, no. That's, that's a real lovely. lovely milk glass that uh, Doris, Doris and Harold have, have provided uh -huh. us with a fine uh, centerpiece again today. It's another lovely award winner indeed. Thank you very much. And just all kinds of neat things back here. Yeah, we got Guess some. what time of the year it was when this, when this show was taped. <laughs> Uh, I have a recipe for sweet and sour chicken. Now, you know, a couple of years ago, we did sweet and sour chicken wings. Right. And that recipe was fabulous. It really was. And I have since prepared it many times at home and always get compliment, compliments, compliments and comp right. comments on it. <laughs> Uh, this one is a little bit different in that it takes about one minute to do. It's much simpler than all of that, but I can't tell you whether it's good or bad because I haven't tasted it. Ooh, well, I'm anxious to get it. It's my hands in the on. oven, and so we'll have an opportunity at the end of the show, but it sure is simple. Uh, what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, this was sent in by Mrs. J.B. Saps of Mottonville, Virginia. Thank you very much, and yeah, we're going to give it a try. And while Laban tells you all about his extraordinary recipe and what he's going to do, I'm going to take these boneless chicken breasts back and wash them off. 
Oh, good. Very because important that we do that. Right. If the, you saw that 60 Minutes article, <laughs> right. you would never, ever eat one of these again without washing them off. Right. And so, you're supposed to do that anyway. So. And I'm going to do today a, a recipe that some of you that live outside the South, you know, this show, if you hadn't guessed already, is manufactured in the South the southern part of the United States. And uh, one recipe that we occasionally get inquiries about is a 7-Up salad. That's right, 7-Up like you drink. So today we will make a 7-Up salad on this show. And the first thing you need is 7-Up, of course, and you need two small boxes of orange-flavored gelatin. Oh, boy. Or jello. So we've got that, and I'm going to throw that down in a bowl. Doris, I need a big spoon. Isn't that wonderful, our, our fabulous staff here? All right, now in this brown bowl, I have two small boxes of orange jello. There it is. And now to that, I'm going to add one and one-half cups of fiery hot boiling water And there it goes down into the pan. Now, you have to stir this real good so all of your gelatin will dissolve. I don't think there are too many people out there that don't know how to make jello. Jello is extremely easy to make. Even a fool could make jello. Matter of fact, I've been some places where fools made jello. That was a delicious gelatin salad I had at your house the other day. <laughs> I Never went over had to Larry's. A salad at my house in your life, and you know it. Be sure to wash under those, you know, wing pits there. Uh, I was over at Larry's the other day for a fine repast, and he did a lovely job with it. He had a huge turkey and all the trimmings, and it was just delicious. Everything he had except the wonderful. green peas which he forgot to bring out <laughs> and left on the stove, wherein they were totally ruined. I will have green peas to eat for the next six years. Well, I don't house. see how you could eat them. They looked like, it had, the, had the power been on to them, mm -hmm. I think if you'd put a fork into it, it would have gone and that would have been it. They you just, never saw them, so how would you No, you that? did. You showed them to me at the end. You held them up. They were in a big round frying pan like that, and they were dark green. Don't tell me. Now, after I have done this, I'm going to add, and this, this is supposed to cool, but we don't have enough time. I have a one pound can of crushed pineapple that is draining over here. That is very, very important. The pineapple has to drain, and it has to drain for a long time. Let's watch the pineapple drain for a while. While the pineapple drains. Now, this is a 16 ounce bottle of 7-Up. You could use two 8-ounce bottles, or you could measure it. But 16-ounce, oh, you need two cups of 7-Up. So here it is, and it's going right down in there. Would you like a bottle of 7-Up? No, I, I never did one. care for it. Thank you anyway. Well, and now you need to stir this, and it's going to chill for a while so that you can add the other stuff to it. So, Larry, while we allowed this delicious... <laughs> mixture of Jello and 7-Up to chill for a mess. while. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, let it chill, and we'll turn it over to you. Well, thank you very much, Laban. Six chicken breasts, boned, skinned, and halved. I, I got lazy. I just went out and bought them that way. They're much more expensive that way. If you will buy them with the bones on them and debone them yourself, you'll save an awful lot of money. Take those things and wash them off real good and put them in a, 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 a nice baking dish. <laughs> Johnson just hooked himself on the closet door and almost killed himself with microphone wire. Sorry you missed it. I now here comes the nothing. easy part. I don't know how I'm going to bake. I just have to stretch this out as long as I can. Take your little fingernail and <laughs> rip that off real good so you can open that up. Does this is have a safety You know, on? here's one of these. You know, we've been trying to work on this cookbook for a long time. You know this woman has sent back all these things and all these haughty, huffy uh -huh. notes about how much is a pinch and what's a big can and what's a small can and blah, 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 blah. First thing I see on here is a bottle of Russian dressing. 
and she'll want to know. Now, how what's big? a bottle of Russian dressing? How many ounces? Is it one of these? Is it one of those great big bottles of Russian dressing? I think this will probably do the job. How many ounces? This is an eight fluid ounce bottle, the smallest bottle you can buy. It's a standard size bottle of Russian dressing and just dribble it all out into a dish here, which is what we're doing right now. Now take your time when you're doing that. You don't want to rush it. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Oh, wait a minute. We need to pass them on the camera crew and it's wake them up. It's real lovely. Okay, that's that. All the excitement I can stand for right now. And one of these pouches of uh, onion soup, onion soup, you know, it's soup mix stuff uh -huh. that you put in the boiling water. And put that in there. Ooh, this is looking good already, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. Larry, I know how we can how we can wake up the camera crew. Watch this. I've got miniature marshmallows. Just listen to these dogs howl when I throw them out there. Yeah! Here they go. <laughs> Oh, boy, look at them go for those things. Mm. And finally, you need six ounces of peach preserves. And that's a one. Of what? Six ounces, ounces of peach preserves. I bought a 12, or you can buy a 12-ounce <laughs> jar like I did and use half of it. <laughs> for you Ignets, can't figure that out on your own. There you are. Now. Ignis That's it. is a good southern term. <laughs> That's know. it. Now you take all that wonderful, good, all doesn't that look good, <laughs> and mix that all up real good. And here comes, this is really, this takes some culinary skill. Now watch this carefully. You ready? Follow me here. Dump it on that chicken. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the whole recipe. Believe it or not. Now, what you do, and you do not cover it, all right? Eat on all sweet and sour duties. You do, you know, when you're doing that stuff, you don't cover it up because if you cover it, 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 it'll, it won't taste right. Set your oven at 275 for 45 minutes to an hour and cook it uncovered, just like that, and it'll smell real good. We don't know what it tastes like yet, nor will we for another <laughs> 15 minutes or so, and that's my recipe. Well, boy, that was fun. Now, let me <laughs> now let's get our newly cooled Jello out the freezer. Newly cooled? Uh huh. We just put it in there. Well, I know, but it's already cooled down. Oh yeah, I can see. Uh, <laughs> and I, I guess this foam will will get down off of here pretty soon. Now, to that, we're going to add a cup of miniature marshmallows. Oh, this just this recipe just cracks me up. Only somebody that belonged to the Methodist Church would do a recipe I'm like sure this. I'm sure that I've eaten at least forty gallons of this. Yeah. Now wait a well, minute. Well, the I'm a Methodist. Pretty big on it too, and I'm but, uh, disciples of Christ, and we used to have those an awful lot. Now, that's, into the <laughs> that's how we all got to be so fat. <laughs> into this, you also put your crushed pineapple, which you have been uh, draining over here. Did you wash your Yes, I did. Thank you. Want to know yeah, about Of course, we all know where they've been. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to to uh, dice up three bananas, so, and they all go down in this lovely mess. Isn't it something? <laughs> this thing just goes on forever. But you haven't seen anything, folks. Wait till we do the topping, for which I'll need a measuring spoon and another spoon, a oh. small little teaspoon. And there's one more banana to go. Where is that chimp you came in with, Bly? That was no chimp. That was... <laughs> Never mind. And what? A teaspoon <laughs> and what? Oh, I didn't get anything right. <laughs> I got to start paying more attention to this show. <laughs> Mm, that banana is good. All now, right, there's your cup, and there half a cup. Oh, I got plenty of cups. Oh, well, what'd you, you ask for? I don't know. Didn't he ask for a cup? Yes, he did. Now here's all of this lovely mixture here. <laughs> now this is going to go into the refrigerator where it will cool overnight. <laughs> now we have to make the topping, and this is also a lot of fun. 
we need for the topping we need three <laughs> tablespoons of flour. <laughs> One, two, three, and a half a cup of sugar. I remember when I used to be on this show. Did you? All right, there's a half a cup of sugar. And we need an egg. <laughs> oh, isn't he sweet? Now, this egg goes right down in there. And you have to mix all of this up. And you think, well, now this isn't going to turn out to be anything. But it actually does. I don't believe this is going to turn out to be anything. And you'll notice that your egg and your sugar just meld together. Uh-huh, in big lumps. Seven minutes, John. Oh, all right. <laughs> I told you this part of it is a screen. All right, now, your egg and your sugar and your flour are all in that pan. And now we're going to see how much pineapple juice we have reserved, and we don't have enough. That pineapple didn't juice up quite long enough, so I'm just going to add a little water to it. Or you could reserve some pineapple juice out in a can, but you've got to have a cup of it. And you put that there, and you're going to stir all of this up a little bit. You got indigestion? Or Just something? a tad. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. This, I thought you had the pip. That, that banana was back. <clears throat> now we're going to put it over here on the heat <laughs> and stir it until it thickens, <laughs> which it will do. Oh, well, that ought to be good for another minute no, or two. Just uh, don't laugh, because this stuff, when it goes, it goes real fast. Hmm. And, it, and you have to add two tablespoons of margarine to it. So we'll let that go just for a second. And it makes a little custard that's going on top of that. And, and got, uh, uh, would you like a marshmallow? That on high? No, I never cared for them. Thank you. Don't you. like them? I, I saw like some them. marshmallows growing this weekend. Did you really? You know, marshmallows. Oh, oh. No, that's, that, I did. They were pointed out to us. That's the flavor in these things. Did you know that? <laughs> No. That's that is true. Marshmallows. Well, I'm just trying to help you, boy. Is that where mallow cups come from? Do uh -huh. they grow them there too? No, no. Oh, the the oh, mallow oh. is a is a like a herb. It is a flavor. If you know that out there, folks, and I know a lot of you do, would you write in and tell Bly? I can tell out there he doesn't. I, you know I, I can tell he doesn't believe me. <laughs> well, let's get these recipes up here while we wait for our custard to cook. It's Custard's last cook. Sweet and sour chicken sent in by J.B. Saps of Martinville, Virginia. Thank you, J.B., not J.B.'s actual initials. Six chicken breasts, bone skinned and halved. One bottle of Russian dressing, skinned and halved. One package of onion soup mix. And one six-ounce jar of peach preserve, or a 12-ounce jar halved. <laughs> And skinned. <laughs> and skinned. Put them in that oven for uh, about an hour, 275 degrees. And now for the 7-Up Salad, two small boxes of orange gelatin, boiling water, two cups of 7-Up, one one-pound can of crushed pineapple, three diced bananas, a cup of miniature marshmallows. Ooh. The topping has three tablespoons of flour, one and a half cup of sugar, an egg, and the reserved pineapple juice. And this stuff is beginning to, to do it, sort of. Have you got it on high? Well, yes, I do. I'll just let it go for a little bit longer here. Maybe the witch could come in and miss witch with uh, her big bad self and her little self. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could have a direct <laughs> drop. We haven't seen one of those no. for a while. Normally she does one of those, you know, whatever. <laughs> Very good. It's amazing. I hope it didn't put uh, anybody's eyes out up there. Dear Juan, what's that say? Como? Oh, it's in Spanish. Are, are you, Maybe you'd better stir this and let me read it. I believe it's from Santana. <laughs> says we are here in Los. Oh, it says Como esta? Como esta? We are here in Los Estados Unidos and watching the TV set. 
there are dos, dos gringos stupidos <laughs> trying to cook. Must be us. Eating my... No, están muy oh. <laughs> malos. <laughs> <laughs> if they are on in Mexico, do not watch them. Had Maria... What's it say? Uh, let's see. Had Maria y los muchachos and the children. <laughs> From the set. Si, amigo, Rafael. What does it what does it mean? I think he sent it to the wrong thing if he was writing to Juan. I he must have been picking up that Spanish channel that we broadcast uh -huh. here periodically. <laughs> but anyway. Oh no, this this is one of those bad pads. Yeah. <laughs> and it has uh, scorched out on the bottom. This stuff terribly. Now wait a minute, I've got to have my margarine in here now. It doesn't smell scorched though. You may have caught I think it. I if caught you don't it. scrape it off now, too here. bad on the bottom, try not to scrape the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Can I send that in to Halloween? You no, know, that, that's, that's <laughs> true. If you, isn't that true, Doris? If you squirt something, don't scrape the bottom off. It'll be all right. And you have to do this around until... Hints from Larry Louise. Uh, uh, <laughs> until this uh, margarine melts. And then you have to, to chill this in the uh, Frigidaire overnight. I don't believe we're going to have time for this recipe now. He stretched it out so far. <laughs> <laughs> but now, this, this is our lucky day, Larry. Oh, great. Because I just happen to have another one <laughs> over here. Let's all turn our backs to the camera while we're at it. <laughs> here it is, and it is gorgeous. Well, this is your lucky day because I happen to also have one. You want to see that again? Pretty good. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where it's been. <laughs> Okay. Oh my heavens, this chicken has this chicken has baked into a big glob. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Chris has done, done baked three or four times. Put your plate over here. Please. <laughs> what is that rubbery, large rubbery thing on your plate there? That, that, yeah, come on, that's the seven up salad. A lot of people here would take oh, great oh, umbrage oh, to that. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, excuse me. Making fun of there. No, I wasn't making fun of it. Because this is real popular in our area. It just looks big and rubbery. We've never made it at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Hmm, very interesting. Jello. Well, well, this chicken is real unusual. Hmm. No, it's good. So is the salad. Seven up. It's real good. Is it? Yeah. Let me try the chicken. Ooh, the salad does have a real good taste to it. It really does. Bly, we've done it again. We've accidentally turned out a fabulous meal. Ooh. I think our viewers have come through for us, and we appreciate that very much, because it's always real rude when they don't. Bye. See you.